Hello there, this is Daniele Frontuschev, so in this video we're going to have a look at how you can use Blueprint for editing your simulation. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a Blueprint uh, asset. And here we're going to search for behavior and we're going to select a Blueprint behavior component. I'm going to change this to, to change state. And I'm going to double click on that in the Blueprint editor. In here under functions we'll see that we have several overrides which corresponds to the stages of Atom Simulation. We want to use init frame. And uh, here what we want to do is we want to get a... Uh, first of all, we need to uncheck the context sensitivity. Get module, get behavior module. I'm gonna connect the agent group. The name of the behavior module is the name that you see here in the component list. So it's gonna be state machine behavior one so what we want to do is actually to change the state of the state machine uh, and then in here we're gonna say set module property as int I'm gonna connect that return value to sorry to here and then it's gonna be state so basically, yeah, this one will actually change the, the actual property of the state machine behavior. So I'm gonna save it and compile it. Uh, I can then drag and drop this one into the onto the component list of the agent group. Uh, the behavior order is set to two, which is fine. Now if I press play, you see that me, my agents are actually uh, uh, in the idle state, which is was is that zero state. So I'm going to remove this one, make sure that the state machine has state set to one just because it was, it was just changed by the other um, behavior to zero, um, by the blueprint to zero. Um, then I'm going to create another blueprint just to show you another example. Uh, behavior component, uh, let's call it follow camera. Uh, once again, we need to get the init frame. I want to find, uh, after unchecking the context sensitivity, get player pawn. Then I want to get actor location. Um, from here, instead, I want to do a for each. Then what I need to do is I want to get a vector metadata, three metadata, which is gonna be the position of my agent. So this is actually stored as a metadata on, on my agent. Then I want to do a, a vector subtract. It's gonna be the first one. Sorry, the second one and the first one. I want to normalize this. Uh, one and then I want to set agent metadata um, this one I'm gonna change to the direction okay I'm gonna save this one compile it and then once again I'm gonna drag and drop it here you see that already my agent changed and their direction. Um, so if now I press play, you see that basically the agents are already following the camera. And that's it. Um, so this is all uh, for this video. Uh, thanks for watching.